Howdy, bae, and welcome to another Nephilim build. Today we're gonna do a barrel roll as Fox and Cloud from Star Fox. As always, keep in mind that these videos are about catching the spirit of the character rather than catching their abilities perfectly. With that said, let's start with the ability scores. Using the same point where we put the 15 to dexterity, this furry is the poster boy for Smash Melee. I bet that's the 14 intelligence. Fox is in the planner, but I'm betting those eye wings have complex controls. This is the 13 in wisdom. You need to stay aware of your surroundings when dogfighting. We'll put the 12 in the constitution for HP and the 10 to charisma for leadership. Lastly, we'll dump strength. We won't need it. For raids, we're going to go with Swift Stride Shifter. You might have been expecting to backseat, but foxes are actually part of the dog family, and we still don't have playable dogs. Also, I want to be fast for more than just one turn at a time. Anyway, we'll put our increases in Dexterity and Constitution and choose Survival. Useful for when you're stuck on a dinosaur planet. Also, a heads up, I've only played two Star Fox games, and that one wasn't one of them. I couldn't find any gameplay info on it, and even the Death Battle episode Fox was in didn't mention any abilities from it. How bad was that game that all of you are trying to pretend it didn't exist? Anyway, we'll also get Dark Vision of 60 feet, Shifting, and Speed Common and Celestial, because angels and aliens both live up above. We'll take the Mercenary Veteran background, getting Mercenary Life, Athletics and Persuasion, Land Vehicles, and Dice. Moving on to class, we're going to start off as a monk. We'll get Strength and Dexterity saving throws and pick Acrobatics and Insight for skills. We'll also be proficient with Simple Weapons, Short Swords, and take Painter's Flyers. You know, for giggles. At level 1, we'll get Martial Arts and Unarmored Defense, and at level 2, we'll get Key and Unarmored Movement. We're not going to multi-class the Artificer, getting Light and Medium Armor, Shields, Thieves' Tools, and Tinker's Tools. At level 1, we'll get Magical Tinkering and two Cantrips. We'll take Firebolt for a Charged Splaster Shot, and Sword Burst for an Offensive Shield Pulse. We'll also prepare two spells, taking Long Strider for Speed, and Jump to Jump Good. At level 2, we'll get our Infusions, taking Mind Sharpener and Repeating Shot, which we'll put on a Hand Crossbow, which we'll get proficiency with in a minute. We'll also take Featherfall because what is fall damage? At level 3 we'll get right tool for the job and our artifice specialist. We're going to go with Battlesmith getting Smith's tools, Battle Ready, and our Seal Defender. Seems weird, I know, but let me cook. This is going to be fun. We'll also get Heroism and Shield for free. At level 4 we'll get Crossbow Expert. Even though we have Repeating Shot, this still gives us melee shots and a bonus action shot. We'll also draw a blank. Oh, there's a spell I could take and I'll take it later, but I want this spot open for a second. At level 5, we'll get Extra Attack and then Branding Smite and Warding Bond. We'll also take Enlarge Reduce, which we'll use to make our Steel Defender large, letting us mount it. We can then put Warding Bond on it to reduce the damage it takes. We now have a Landmaster. Now we just need some lasers and bombs for it to fire, but we can't get those spells from Artificer. Which is why we're now going to multi-class to Wizard. Hey, magic is just science we haven't figured out yet. At level 1, we'll get Arcane Recovery and 3 Cantrips, taking Precious Dissertation for effects, and Blade Ward and Tree Strike to fill the slots. I'll also prepare 3 spells, taking Mage Armor for better AC, Magic Missile for more Rapid Fire Blaster Shots, and Silvery Barbs to Taunt. At level 2, we'll get our Arcane Tradition, taking Blade Singing for Performance and Blade Song. Huh, why does it feel like we've done this before? I'll also draw a blank. At level 3, we'll take Kinetic, John for some Jigs, and level 4, we'll raise our Dexterity, take Light for a Flashlight, and draw another blank. At level 5, we'll take a Shadalon Strike to rocket around with Firefox. Thought about using Fire Shield, but that's fire damage from taking a hit, not from movement. We'll also swap both of our planks for Fireball and Lightning Bolt to fire lasers and power bombs from our tank. While we're here, at level 6, we'll get the Blade Singer Extra Attack and Sending for some comms. Back to Artificer, at level 6, we'll get Tool Expertise, Spell Refueling Ring, and Enhance Ability for Super Furry Feats. At level 7, we'll get Flash of Genius, and at level 8, we'll cap our Dexterity and take Absorb Elements. At level 9, we'll get Arcane Jolt, as well as Aura Vitality and Conjure Barrage. At level 10, we'll get Magic Item Adept and the Headband of Intellect. Now it doesn't matter that we haven't invested in our intelligence. Imagine starting a campaign at level 10, playing an Artificer with a dumped intelligence, and just giving yourself a 19 anyway. Also, just reflavor it as his helmet. With essentially a plus 2 increase to our int mod, we get a total of 4 new spells from Artificer and Wizard. From Artificer, we'll take 8 for more HP and protection from energy for resistances. From Wizard, we'll take Expeditious Retreat for Sprint and protection from evil and good. We'll also take Mending and Fly from our regular level up. At level 11, we'll get Spell Storing Item. Now for some fun stuff. You can command your Steel Defender to take an action from its stat block or, quote, some other action. Like using a charge from your spell starting item, which you can put in large reduce in, making the steel defender large while using its concentration, leaving you free to concentrate on fly, casting it on the defender, which is large, meaning you can mount it. Forget the landmaster, we have an R wing, bitches. Lastly, level 12 will take the gift of metallic dragon feet. This will give us an intelligence based cure wounds, but more importantly, we have a defensive reaction that we can use on our defender. 
Told you we'd do a barrel roll. Oh, well, also take haste for more speed, I guess. Now that we're level 20, we finally have our modifiers. For inventory, we'll take a hand crossbow, a set of tinker's tools, and a component pouch. I AC with Mage Armor is 18, our movement speed is 40, and our average HP is 137 with 66 and 14 D8 hit dice. And with that, we are done. Now what can this build do? To start, we have a personal fighter jet. Do I really need to explain the badassery of that? We're also pretty capable on the ground with a ton of movement, high AC, and good damage in both melee and at range. We also managed to cheat our way into a functioning spellcasting modifier. For weaknesses, our strength saves are garbage and we have a lot of spells that need concentration. Our R-Wing also isn't going to last very long in combat, so we'll be grounded very quickly and we don't have as much HP as I would like. Weaknesses aside, we've got the speed and the firepower to go in alone. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you'd like to support my channel, there's a link to my Patreon down in the description. $1 a month gives you 2-day early access to my videos, a chance to vote for future characters, and access to all of my homebrew content. Let me know what you thought this video down in the comments, and I'll see you all next time when I make Hiei from Yu Yu Hakusho.